Now we're looking at an intersection between a set of numbers, two sets of numbers. So since we're looking at an intersection, it means that the number has to belong to both sets. So if we look at these just in order, here's a negative 2. There's no negative 2 in this other set. So that means that negative 2 would not be part of the intersection. Well, what about negative 1? Yeah, sure, there's a negative 1 right there. So in this new set, which it represents the intersection, we have a negative 1. And what about 4? Yeah. Oh, sure, there's a 4 right there. So 4 also is included in the set of the intersection. And what about 7? Nope, there's no 7 in the other one. What about a 9? Nope, I don't see any. Now, as it turns out, since we went through the 1, we don't really have to consider the other one because none of those ones existed in the other one, so except for these two numbers, negative 1 and 4. So this right here is our answer for the intersection.